Welcome back Chargeheads. Here we are at the Bedford River Festival taking part in the 100th motoring display. We were representing the electric side of the display but they were all sorts of different cars, all classics, modified and some really unusual cars that you never really see. Especially the electric TVR because TVR Wedgie was there even though it's in mid-build. We are in Bedford and there's the piazza. We're at the Market Square and uh, hi Vinny. And um, here we are at the charge heads section and also uh, a slice of silent classics. And here's Jack. Hello, Hello mate. How, are you, doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Here's me. How are you? Um, yeah, I thought, um, since though it's a little bit quiet still, we'd, uh, we'd do a little bit of a video on your lovely Fiat 500. She is a beauty. And how long how long have you had this particular one for? Is this customer's? So this is this customer's yours? car, yeah, we've had it for, gosh, probably four months now. Okay. It is done. Um, we are just testing and testing and testing. Um, but yeah, it's due to go back to the customer in a couple of weeks. I've just been really enjoying driving it around. I didn't really want to give it back to him, if I'm very honest. No, sure. Um, uh, she does look. Uh, we've had quite a lot of positive comments about it already. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, how, how, how did it arrive? Did it need a full restoration? Or a lot was of it... the fits that arrived to us end up needing a lot of welding. But right. This one actually was okay, pretty good. But this one was pretty straightforward. It's something you had done a, a light restoration on it, so we more or less just fitted our kit to it, uh, which has already been developed. So yeah, um, we're always developing the kit, but we're at a stage now where we're pretty happy with the design. Okay, we'll go into a bit of detail on the kit in a second. Um, in terms of charging, I'm taking it's uh, what sort of uh, speed charger is it? It's a 3.3 kilowatt okay. charger, uh, so from empty around six hours. And um, what sort of battery uh, size have we got on this particular so one? So it's a 21 kilowatt hour. We've got in uh, two, basically uh, Model S modules. So okay. two Model S modules in the front, two in the rear. Okay. So we've got a bit more weight over the front end, which is actually great because you, these cars understeer like crazy. Okay. So it handles much better than it originally did. Right, okay, super. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. And don't forget to tag on the socials any EV conversion or modified EV stuff that you see or that you've got yourself. So this looks rather pretty in here. What's, what's going on in the back here, Jack? So this is, well, this is our installation. So to start off, um, like basically no modifications have been made to fit this. So even this rear battery box, oh, there's wow. no drilling holes whatsoever. So this that looks super factory. Yeah, this uses the factory um, holes here for the uh, there's large holes here to mount the battery box. Yeah, we've got two Tesla Model S modules here. Yeah, this is the inverter uh, charger this side. Okay, our own uh, we make these three into the cap. Oh yes, Logan. look at that! <laughs> love it. Uh, I love and the yin and yang. Behind here we've got the high voltage junction box out the right. way. Yep. And then we've got the electric motor basically behind this boot plate here. Yeah. Which we actually use the existing gearbox. Oh, it? do you? Yeah. Okay, is it is it strong enough to hold the power? Yeah, we tested it many times. It's just it keeps, few, few burnouts. A few burnouts, yeah. It keeps, it keeps the convert. We do upgrade to CV joints uh, because they're a notorious weak part on these, on these cars. They normally have rubber couplings here, which don't last five seconds. Right, I see. So we do CV joints, um, but and um, yeah, we keep we like to keep it simple. Where there's no gears, so we've, it's fixed gear. Yeah. We have a forward and reverse switch. You just don't need gears with the amount of torque that thing. It's got 120 newton meters of torque. It's phenomenal to drive. It just picks up so well. So, what are the uh, what are the stats in terms of sort of naught to sixty? We haven't actually and... timed naught to sixty yet. Um, so test it later. Test it later. <laughs> yeah. um, but it will do about seventy five. But you feel like you're breaking the That's, sound. Yeah. Sound well, I don't think I would want to go any faster than seventy five. No, in uh, unbelievably quick. For that yes, thing. I bet. And um, so, what's the size of the battery in total? So you've got battery at the back, battery at the front. Well, same, basically the same. Same battery boxes, and we've got so 21 kilowatt hours. Okay, that's decent. Which is pretty good. Yeah. So we get, well, I mean, in, on you know, we could get 120 miles quite comfortably. I mean, that's half of what's going in the. Oh, shouldn't watch the trophy, but uh, yeah. half of what's going in there. So yeah, that would be a decent range. You say right. that you're using it as a daily at the moment for yeah. getting to work. Yeah, it's got a heater. We designed a heater for it as well. And uh, what, what sort of heater did you go for? Well, being air cooled, you can't rely. You can't fit a, a high voltage element in the heat in where the original matrix goes. Yeah. So. We had to basically design our own from scratch. Um, it's it's a 1.2 kilowatt unit, which which nestles up under the uh, under the, uh, behind the dash, and cool. it really works because the original heater. Well, you can see it here. Oh yes, it's Let a massive fan here, which basically the draws in here, uh, here, blows it all the way through past past the cylinder head, picks yeah. up a nice amount of 
carbon monoxide. Oh, lovely. Sends it down the tunnel, and before you know it, you're kind of asphyxiated. As, as a bit of uh, cancer. I mean, yeah, but... I love the fact that you've brought this to the stand, and yeah. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, not only coming today uh, for the Bedford Rib Festival event, but I mean, this just says it all. Motor there, and that's uh, 64 brake horsepower or 48 kilowatt motor, 92% efficiency, and efficiency is so important with the electric motor. You can bear that to the 19% efficiency on this. Obviously the obvious size difference as well. <coughs> and the weight, 21, just over 21 kilograms versus 68. Um, but yeah, efficiency, obviously better for the environment, etc. And it's just obviously the batteries uh, added to it. But can you open the bonnet yeah, sure. as well? That'd be great. Oh, it's a bit dusty. Oh, well, mate, it's fine. Yeah, so this is the front battery box. Um, okay. Same as the rear. Yeah. Um, and we've got also got the charge port oh, hello. in the front here. Yeah. So that basically oh, nice. lifts up. And it's actually the only real place to put this because originally the fuel tank sits here. Yes, of course, yeah. So normally you've got a big fuel tank here. Um, and um, yeah, so the, it's, it's, uh, this, is, this is great. This adds that extra weight. Here's the heater that I was on about. Ah, uh, yes. Right now, <laughs> so that tucks up under there. And we've still got the 12 volt battery tucked in the original position. Lovely. With the DC to DC converter tucked underneath it. All right, so that's right. Oh, that's still the thing right down the bottom. Yeah, you there. can't really see it. No, very smart. So you're saying about the voltage? It's quite a low voltage uh, vehicle. Yeah, it's a, so like a 92 volts normal. Um, so it's a fairly safe, uh, safe system. The, the, the reason why we went low voltage is. Cram, you know, getting enough modules in to go to 360 volts in a car like this is pretty tricky. Yeah. Um, it keeps it safe, um, and it just keeps it quite simple. And it, the motor, our motor choice is just perfect for this application. Yeah. No. It's uh, yeah, good size. Everything kind of fits really, really nicely. So, what is the uh, you know, the, the magic question? What's the sort of cost? What? How much does it cost for you to do your conversion kit? And how much does your do, do you sell the kit separately as well? We're not selling the kits yet. Okay. Uh, but it is obviously in the pipeline. Uh, but we charge 24k plus that for the conversion okay. fitted um, and then we charge a little bit extra for suspension upgrades which we recommend yep. um, we've, we're also working on an up, head up display yep. it's not currently fitted but we're prototype stage at the moment so we're going to have a really nice LCD screen hidden inside the oh, cool. uh, original Speedo so. and uh, how do you, I take it all the dials work inside do they? Or? yeah all standard yeah, yeah. We're gonna, yeah. super and um, with regards to are there any brake upgrades that you guys do yeah, as so well? We, we take we, we ditch the drum brakes. Yep. And and we put discs on the front. So don't mind if I do, Jack. Oh hello. This is nice, isn't it? Oh, oh, just, oh, is that a bit loud? I think that suits you. Do you know what? Well, oh, I like this. Oh. Do you know what? It's the most comfortable I've been all day. Do you know what? <laughs> Lovely headroom as well. Yeah, especially with open. Can I play with? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, can I play with the gear shift? Can I play with your knob? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go for do, it. Do I need to? Uh, press the brake. I'm not sure. I've, I'm feeling a bit awkward. Uh, um, we didn't say that last time. <laughs> so, uh, so she's done 79,000 miles. Obviously, yeah, not EV miles. Obviously not. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of switches here. What do the switches do? So it's all fairly standard. That's lights, ignition. That's our heater that we fit. Nice. Um, what does it blow out of? The ashtray. Uh, the, no, no, the vents above. No, no, no. You can see they're above the ashtray. The, the, these bad boys. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. And then we've got this one, which is the... Um, wipers, I believe. Nice, nice. And the these are the danger lights. The, you know, that's, so that's indicator and high beam. Right. But we're actually going to, we're fitting an LCD, actually inside the glove compartment, uh, in there, is the set orange thing. Yeah. Uh, that is our LCD screen that we're fitting inside the original hello, uh, cluster. Hello. I can see a button here. What's the button do? Screen wash. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Do you know what? I reckon I could get my family in here. Yeah. I'm not sure um, my missus is big on safety. So she's not been in the TVR very much. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I love but it. the thing is, if you, if you crash in this, the, 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 um, it's going to be quite a quick death. Yes, well, so that you is why I own TVRs. There's no suffering, you'll just be instant death. That's what I prefer. I prefer instant death rather than, you know, being maimed. Uh, you know, in some shape or form, but no, I like it, Jack. It's, it's lovely, and uh, I'm going to come come and see you to have a drive of this. Uh, I cannot wait. Mark my words. You better be there. I'll be there. Don't you worry. How, how'd you get out? <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, let me take that off you. Cheers.
So there we go, that is a summary of Jack's Fiat 500 electric, which he's done for a customer. Absolutely amazing, thank you Jack for showing us, thank you for coming down to the show today. Um, but yeah, if you've got a Fiat 500 or any classic car you'd like to convert to electric, come and see Silent Classics. And we've got here, do, 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 website, silentclassics.co.uk and they are in Dorset. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I'm just going to put it in your pocket. So here we are for day two of the Bedford River Festival, Sunday. A bit more prepared today, so we've got everything set up. Um, we haven't got the Fit 500 EV conversion today. Uh, thanks to Jack for bringing that along yesterday. Lots of interest in that, which is fantastic. But we do have another Tesla Model 3, because if uh, anyone remembers some of my older videos, uh, we went to see Clive and Clive took us through his amazing suspension setup, all the mountain pass performance bits, the KW suspension. So we got two Teslas uh, today. Uh, so I uh, can't say that we might not do a double light show just to be extra corny and sad and cheesy. Um, sniffing around the cars, making sure there's no uh, bombs under it again. Not none today, sir. <laughs> And so this, this, this doggy's last day today, but don't tell him. Well, uh, it's, it's Holly, isn't it? Or Poppy. Poppy, that's it. Hello, Poppy's Poppy. Last day. Oh, bless her. All right. <laughs> and uh, of course, we've got the TVR here still. And uh, yeah, we've got the setup ready for, ready for the madness. So yeah, a bit quiet because uh, we're nice and, nice and early here today. But there's some cool cars. There's a couple of new ones over here, including this really cool Corvette. Um, I, I'm trying not to upset too many uh, ice owners telling them that that would be a really good car to electrify but of course all cars are good to electrify as i'm sure you know now this is pretty cool look at this you can put a few batteries in that bad boy couldn't you um look at that cadillac whoa whoa, whoa we were but yeah this is the uh, chap we were talking to earlier owns this beauty look at that corvette very very nice indeed but yeah this is a uh, little bit less uh, traffic so we can see the cars a bit better um, nice e-type uh, quite a few people doing conversions on those oh look it's a Tasman <laughs> this is what a Tasman looks like with body panels on it look at that that's it for now. I'd just like to say a massive thank you, especially to Vinny, who's with us for both days, Clive on the Sunday, Jack on the Saturday, all the way from Dorset, and all friends and family members for supporting the stand, Bedford Borough Council, Adrian for setting it up, and special mention to Fuel Collective and Auto Anonymous for uh, also supporting Charge Heads. So thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.